Well, welcome to my Communications Media 10 students. Um, looking at these motion tweens, I thought I'd do another video presentation. Give you some more tricks and tips on how to do motion tweens. Um, so, and I'll get this up on the YouTube channel. So, I have some images that I brought in here. There is an airplane, and here is a car, and here's me again. So I'm going to work with this car and I'm going to have this car scream across the screen. So I'm going to click it, I'm going to drag it, put it on the screen. First thing I got to do is I got to turn it to a graphic or to a symbol, in this case a graphic. So I'm going to go opposite mouse key, I'm going to go down to convert to symbol. I could have also pressed the F8 key on the top of your keyboard. I'm going to call it race car. Okay. You see it's generated down here as race car. The next thing I do I do is I want to change the size of it. It's a little big for my screen. I'm going to zoom out my screen. Go over here to the transform tool, feel free transform tool, click on it, it's highlighted. Hold down my shift key and change the size. Oh. I was holding the control key, not the shift key there. I like that. Okay. So cars tend not to go up in the air. So I'm going to put that right off here. Okay. So there it is. If I go opposite mouse key and go in here and go create a motion tween. Okay. And then click and drag this across the screen, I'm hoping. It's create a series of dotted lines across here. Put out a little bit more. Okay. So let us see what happens when I play that. Okay, press the enter key, and there it goes across the screen. If I want it to occur for a longer period of time, I'll come over here, get a double headed arrow and drag this out. Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. So there is another way of doing a motion tween with an object. Um, let's look at doing another one. Add a new layer. And I'll turn this layer off. Now I have a airplane here. And I want to do a I'm going to have the airplane come in from the top, fly by, and exit the screen over here. So I'm going to click on this frame here, bring my plane up to here. It's not a bad size, but I think I want to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So there he is. Here's my airplane. Cross the screen and out the bottom here. So he's going to come down and curve out. Okay. So I'm going to click on here. Go create a motion tween. I did it again, didn't I? I didn't convert it to a symbol. So opposite mouse key, convert to symbol or F8. Call it plane. Okay. Generates it over here. Now I go opposite mouse key, create a motion tween. And then I take this and put it over here. And it didn't work. Control Z. I'll come out here because this is my second layer. Offset mouse key. I will move, try and put in a keyframe. I'll put all in here. Then I'll take this and I'll put it over here. And then I have my tween. So now let's see how it looks. Okay, not bad. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my conversion tool, my free transform, make him big. So it looks like he's coming in from beyond the horizon, okay. coming towards us. Now what I want to do is I want to change his trajectory so it comes down and then flies out 
to do that, I'm going to choose my selection tool. There's a subselection and the selection tool. If one doesn't work for this, try the other. So I come in here and I go where these dots are and I get a square dot. So I don't want a square dot. I want a quarter of a circle. So I'm going to try the other selection tool. And see how I got that quarter of a circle there? Let's grab this point right here. Whoops. Click, hold. Now I'm going to take my plane and put them up over here. Oh, I can do that. And now I can grab this down even more. And you can see you can manipulate your. Oh, he's getting really ragged now. Okay, let's see what he looks like. And that's okay. So let's put it with my car. Ooh. Drove over top of the car. Maybe I can just pull this up a little bit. You can see now it's going to be really a roller coaster ride. So those are two more tools that you can use for generating motion tweens inside your lab. Okay. Have a good day.